I want to welcome you, dear friends, supporters and partners of CI. It's such a great honor to welcome you here in Ancona, all of you who made it here and um, celebrate this day with us. My name is Anna Dibari. I'm one of the six board members of CI and I have the honor to, first of all, thank you for coming here, but also to guide you through our lovely speakers who are going to follow me. And those events are something actually to celebrate, to have this new ship, but they also always have a bitter aftertaste. When we as CI went on the Mediterranean nine years ago, we thought it would be an interim solution for European institutions to come back to save people's lives on the Mediterranean. We filled a gap and it was impossible to actually think of the situation that we are facing today. And I think that is something that remains with us all of the time, that is always going with us. But there are no European institutions right now doing our job. And I think seeing you today, seeing so many of you who are fighting for civil rescue, that shows that even though those organizations are not there, those whose job it was to do that, then we have the strength of community and the strength of standing together to even do this job. And there are impressive people going to speak after me, but I think there's one thing, and I said that, that this wouldn't be possible without any of you. And I think therefore there must be the effort to actually thank you for coming here today, but for what you've been doing over the last couple of months as well. And first of all, I want to welcome Sandra Hüller. And I think for us, it's a great honor to have you here, to have you come to Ancona today. But not only to welcome you as probably one of the greatest actors of our time, but to have you as someone who uses their voice to raise the voice and to make people think about this topic who otherwise might have not been. So thank you very much. <laughs> and next I have to thank United for Rescue for four people of you coming here today and hearing you afterwards. But I think, and um, actually Jut and I were talking about it, that when we pitched the idea and asked you for some money, you said, no, that's too small and we actually have to do something big out of it. We have to make it a communal product and project. And thank you for sitting here with us today, for having those great um, effort, to, for having raised those insane amounts of money to be actually able to buy the ship. So thank you for being here today for being a partner and for the new alliance shift because it is an alliance. Then next, um, Juliane Müller, thank you for the GLS Bank and the GLS crowd and the entire team that made actually something that might not be so familiar to have something like that, like a ship being financed by a bank and by a community. And I think that's a great idea, a great step and a great sign to everyone that something like this can be realized. Thank you for believing in our project and making that possible. And great to welcome you here today as well. And now next, I want to say thank you to Dr. Christina Winkelmann for being here, for being the representative of German doctors here today. And not only a partner, because I think partner sometimes sounds a bit too formal, but for actually being a partner on the sea, for doing all the incredibly important medical work with us and for coming here today and also saying some words soon. And then there are some other partners. I think we have to um, mention the Roden Shipping Company, who unfortunately couldn't be here today, but especially God, Gerda Roden for having such a personal um, engagement in supporting us at all those situations. Josh and Vera from CI for coming here today, having the, uh, there you are. <laughs> I think that's the same. We're on the Mediterranean in the same course and still it's not, uh, and it's not always been the situation, but having you here and having you as a partner to support us and to work with us towards this goal to end the dying on the Mediterranean is great. So thank you for taking the time and coming today. 
And now I said that I'm one of the six board members and I think I can speak in the name of CI today for thanking you as an organization. But I have to say thank you from my position to all the five other board members for being here today, for bringing all your time and all your energy to realize those projects. But Actually, I don't want to speak to you, but in behalf of us, of us six, and I think the biggest thing and the biggest thanks has to go to our team that we have at CI. Because it's not only about uh, spending your time in these organizations and doing it, but I think it's, yeah, at times the endurance and the tendency to always continue fighting, even though it might not be so easy or the only uh, thing you think is right. So thank you for standing with us, for putting your effort into this and for being here and being at the live stream today. And there are so many things to do to organize this, um, this today. So thank you, Annika, for that, um, especially. There are um, other things to do to yeah. There are so many things, but there was also a project groups realizing this project in particular. And I have to say thank you to Dominic Reisinger and Carlotta Eckrod for being two of the faces to make this come to life. And I think it is um, necessary to, to name your names here, but also to bring this campaign to success, to talk to our community, to our members, to all the volunteers. And I think there are so, so many people doing voluntarily work with us, which is incredibly great for having the operational planning to do with a new ship. There are so, so many things I could say, and I don't want to lengthen this unnecessarily, but I think it's important to, to use this room to show our biggest thanks and gratitude for your work. And there is one institution, and I actually can, um, or I'm very happy that there are two of you today. Here we have an advisory board. We have um, Michael, I see you here. So thank you, you two, um, for being here today, for not always um, say or giving advice, but also sometimes asking the right critical questions, so thank you so much. And I think um, there's one last person in uh, with CI we actually have to mention, and this is you, Jutta, as the directing manager of CI for keeping this club, uh, this, uh, yeah, our uh, CI as one whole, as being the one to structure processes, to giving such a commitment to this organization and this project as well, and for working so closely for us with the board. So thank you. And there's one last thing, and obviously I think all of us know this, but there's a lot of personal commitment going in, but there are also big institutions and people who are supporting CI. And there are big organizations, and we have to thank the German Foreign Ministry, the UN Agency, the Postcode Lottery, and the uh, Mennonitisches Hilfswerk, which is a really German word, but I didn't find a translation for that. So thank you for believing in the project and to actually supporting us, as well as all of the great people who use their money to support us, to think it's the right thing to do with their money, even sometimes if they don't have the spare money and they do it anyway. So thank you so much. And I think, um, yeah, that is really important for us and it's seen here. And then there are so many other people who, as Manuel, helped us find the ship, who um, wrote the, um, there are a lot of um, actually documents who have to be gotten for uh, those projects, and so many more, more things. And I'm coming to an end anyway, because I think there are so many people who have great things to do, who are the ones to be the stars of the show today, because they have done so much for us. And so therefore, I'm actually, um, by the end, there's just one personal note I want to make. And I also have an Italian citizenship. And I know that many of you came from Germany today. And we talk about the Italian government and about the situations we are facing. 
that's the reason why we have to ship. But I think it's important to realize that we in Italy can make a difference and it's our job to do so. And to actually show to them that there are a lot of people in Italy who stand also by our side. And we have some Italian friends here, but that we are the ones who can change the situation. So thank you. And I would actually now ask Jutta to come to me to say some words on our new vessel, the CI-5. So thank you. Thank you very much, Anna. Search and rescue, civil search and rescue in the Mediterranean um, faces situations that are constantly changing. We have one great vessel, the CIA 4 that has rescued many, many people and has helped um, um, hundreds of people. But the situation keeps changing and therefore our strategy needs to adapt as well. So we're here now um, for the baptism of a new ship, a faster ship that's cheaper in operations, that can be operated with more flexibility. It was built in 1990 for the German search and rescue organization Deutsche Gesellschaft zur Rettung Schiffsbrüchiger, DGZRS. It is about, it's just above 23 meters long, 5.5 um, meters wide and has a maximum speed of 20 knots. It has a, an emergency room um, to help people with medical needs. It has room for just under 100 people um, to get them on board and bring them to a port of safety. Those, are, those specs are a good condition and are perfectly suitable to help people in the situation we are in at the moment. It's a special ship because it was built as a search and rescue ship, so it's an ideal ship for this mission that it embarks on now. It can be operated on its own. It can be a good partner to a bigger rescue ship on the Mediterranean. So it has a lot of flexibility. It can stabilize situation um, and be there for whatever the need is. We can send it also in times when funding is scarce because it's very uh, cheap in, in operations. Um, so um, we are not as much dependent on financial political strains that society is putting on us, that the, that the external factors are putting on us. It's a clear answer of CI to the challenges we have pre been presented with in the past couple years. And it's in reaction to global uncertainties. Dear guests, it's my great pleasure and honor to give you the CI5. Thank you so much, Jota, for presenting the ship to us and saying some things. And now I have Diana, and I said that already, that we have United for Rescue here. And I may ask you, Vera and Sandra, to come to us. Um, Vera, you're the director of um, CI, and we've been working with you. Uh, sorry, manager. Sorry, United for Rescue, um, director manager, and Vera as a member of the board. And I ask you to come here to say some words and send some wishes to us. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. On behalf of United for Rescue, I would like to welcome you as well. It is a great pleasure as a team for us to be here today and to be celebrating this. Um, and I just want to say a few words on how all of this started. Almost five years ago now, United for Rescue started out and we had a great ambition back then to collect uh, enough money to buy another rescue ship for the civil fleet in only three months. And we wanted this to be a sign and a symbol that we as civil society will never be okay with Europe shutting itself off, breaking laws, and letting people drown. Five years later, we're here now, and I can actually not really decide if I'm happy or angry about it. 
because nothing has changed, neither politically, quite the opposite, I would say, but nor did the support for our cause. So over the past years, we have been collecting money and supporting our partners on sea, the incredible organizations that do the hard work every day to support people on the move and to save their lives. So for me, it is yeah, a bittersweet moment here. And over the years, one of those partners has become CI. Um, our cooperation dates back to almost the beginning of United for Rescue. And four years ago now, we bought the CI4 together, the big sister to this beautiful ship. Uh, back then, big ships were needed to take in a lot of people to go long ways. And over the time, we also had to face so many challenges opposed on us by governments, authorities, um, unnecessary controls, for example, detentions, fines, you name it. So we always had to adapt to the new normal in order to keep up working. Therefore, when CI showed up on our doorstep with this new project um, of buying a rescue ship that has been used in front of the German coast that is solely built to rescue people that is faster, cheaper, and a little smaller. Um, for us, it was the perfect project uh, as an answer to all the hurdles that have been put in our way recently. So as United for Rescue, we decided let's be ambitious again. Let's try to collect as much money as possible to support CI in the purchase of the Nice Randas. And it is still incredible, we cannot believe it, that we actually managed in only four weeks to collect the funds necessary to buy this ship. And from the bottom of our heart, we were overwhelmed and so thankful for each and every person that made that happen. Thank you. Because it shows that together we can make a difference. And together we will welcome this ship today into the Civil Fleet family. And it will be a sign again that we will never back down and that we will never stop fighting. So all the people that made this happen, they will be on this ship, with this ship, on every day at sea. And with these words, I'll hand over to my lovely colleague, Sandra. Thank you very much. I was wondering what keeps vessels like these running? I mean, what makes them actually move? Diesel, obviously, <laughs> some kind of fuel. Tailwinds, good fair winds that push in the right direction. And at the same time, perhaps passion and hope and strength to do the stuff together. Like Vera already mentioned, I think this part is crucial as well. It's not just about the money and it's not just about the fuel. It's about the fuel inside of us. United for Rescue is Europe's largest alliance to support the work of this civil search um, and rescue operations on the Mediterranean. And we are really happy to contribute today and to look with you at this beautiful new ship. And like we already heard, one of our jobs was collecting money. It's one thing that United does to collect money to support the deeply and urgent needed work um, with things like buying the ship, but also supporting new missions with fuel, with um, um, necessary um, things like uh, food and also repairs that are required as well. So alone in the past month, since 2024 beginning, we already tw uh, spent 1.3 million euros for organizations like CI to support work like the great work we are about to see that is happening on this ship. And we are deeply overwhelmed that it's not just about the four weeks that we needed to collect the money, obviously very fast, but also that within the four weeks, we were able to show that a lot of people in Germany and in broader Europe are not able to accept the dying that is happening on the Mediterranean anymore. 
So it's not just about the fuel. It's not just about the money fuel. It's also about gathering together and to make synergies and collect all our strength together for an alliance of the willing. United was able within the last years to collect an alliance of about almost 1,000 organizations that link together, that want to support great and urgently needed work like the ones we are about to see happening on ships like these. So I guess all those people that are linked, all those people here now, and all those people watching from home now that uh, follow the live stream, those people gather all the strength that will be the deeply needed tailwind and the fuel for this ship. And to make it more uh, tactile or that you can really grasp it, we collected, we asked our members, hey, do you want to give some wishes for this ship as a support, as an empowerment? And we collected all those wishes uh, that came to us by social media. And so this little co collection, this book, has is a gathering of all our good wishes and blessings. And I would just briefly, as an example, read three of the wishes, and there are several more in it. May this ship and its crew experience successful and safe missions a healthy return to a safe harbor and God's blessing on all the journeys. Another person wrote, I am so happy and so super thankful for people like you. Thank you for your courage, your humanity, good luck and take care. Another wish, so good you're existing CI5 and such a shame you have to exist. Take, take care. So, all the good wishes. I would be honored and extremely humbled to give it on behalf of all the crew to Peter, because he will make sure that this little booklet gets a safe place on the vessel itself. So, yeah. there you go, Peter. Thank you so Very much. Thank you. Many Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your words and especially for your wishes. And I think Peter now has the book and there will be a great place in the ship to carry it with us on the missions and to fulfill those wishes that are in there. So thank you so, so much. And next, I'm going to hand the word or the microphone uh, to Christina Winkelmann. I thank you as an organization already, but I think it's great to have you here as a member of the board, as the one responsible to overlook project and to develop um, project. And I think it's great that we have you here. So thank you. Thank you very much. Anna. I would also like to greet you on behalf of German doctors. This is a very special and also an, an, an emotional moment today to be here with you in Ancona to baptize the CI5. This vessel, as we all know, um, is dedicated to support and to rescue people who are on the move in the Mediterranean. But for me, the CI5 is much more. It is also a symbol of hope and also a symbol of resistance. The civil society in Germany and other European countries are committed to humanitarian values and the protection of human life. My organization, that is German Doctors, and we have been cooperating with CI now for three years, um, a bit more, I believe. We believe it's a human rights obligation to help people in need and to provide them with medical care, whether on land or at sea. Doctors uh, routinely report immeasurable suffering um, when they are working on board. For example, many traumatized people, hypothermic, dehydrated, with various injuries. They have often been through the worst before they come on board the rescue ship. These conditions are unbearable. Through the voluntary work 
of, um, ex of our onboard doctors and the whole medical team. We try to realize the right to medical care, even under these very adverse circumstances. I would like to share a very short story but that is also very moving, I believe, about one of the last missions on the CI4. This story illustrates very well how CI and German doctors in the medical field work together. During a rescue, um, the medical team encountered a young woman. Um, she was unconscious and she was pregnant in the second trimester. The medical team on board worked very hard to stabilize her and she was in a very serious condition. At the same time, the team also worked on other serious cases. And while doing this remark remarkable job, they also processed the fact that for some people on that boat in distress, every help had come too late. They had been dead, found dead on the boat. For the woman, a medical evacuation was urgently needed because um, on these civil uh, search and rescue vessels, not all, um, not all interventions, emergency interventions are possible. So uh, um, 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 an evacuation was asked for, but no helicopter was sent. Of course, the team continued to work to stabilize the woman. At one point, they realized that the child had died. They did not tell the mother who was conscious in between that this happened because they were so afraid that this could actually destabilize her in such a way that also her life would be even more endangered. After many, many hours, the boat finally was able to stop in Lampedusa so that the woman could be evacuated. She came to a hospital, she was taken care of, and she survived. As we baptize the CI5 today, we, I think all of us, reconfirm our commitment to ensuring that every person has the right to safety, dignity, and medical care. We will continue working with the CI and United for Rescue and all other partners to address this ongoing and unacceptable crisis in the Mediterranean. And I hope from the bottom of my heart that the day will come where ships such as the CI5, funded and operated by civil society, will no longer be necessary. Thank you. Thank you so much for those very touching words and also for still keeping up with such a clear vision. And I think you said it's a sign of resistance and I think um, we all are with you on that one. And now I think we're here, you talked about the baptism of a ship and it's a tradition to do so, many of you know that. And there's also one thing and now we're coming to the actual maybe the highlight of today that there are some patrons and we are incredibly grateful for you too that you are the patrons of the ship Sandra Hüller and Peter I ask you to come here and to say some words to us first hello good evening everybody my name is Peter Obamoyi and uh, on a lighter mood I would start with this uh, my sister, um, in Africa, we usually say, I mean, when you, we, when you don't have to be related by blood to be a sister or a brother. So my sister was supposed to take this speech, and uh, she's an engineer also, and she said, Peter, you take this speech, and so here I am, and I'm doing that for her. Um, yeah, so the, why did I join CI, and what's the story behind CI? I remember my first contact with CI was through an advertisement. And two phrases stood out for me. And uh, the first being, leave no one to die. And the second one, Yedes Leben Sailed. Excuse my Deutsch, I hope it worked. <laughs> and so I think for my folks who don't understand Deutsch, that means every life counts. And I felt like this tells a lot about the organization. We understand that it's kind of cliche now for people to talk about diversity and inclusion, and it's trendy to make this a big topic. Well, you see, 
if you really want to know whether an organization like ours is really big or pro diverse, uh, diversity and inclusion uh, you would need to maybe talk to the black the black female engineer and ask her if her voice is heard or she feels that sense of belonging so as a member of such community i would say a definite yes ci is big on these topics and i'm more than happy to be part of this great cause and not just about saving lives of people out there outside also those of us who are inside will also feel comfortable being with the organization and my first encounter also with cf4 which happens to be a very 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 wonderful ship that has brought in so many remarkable success was i, me I remember the very first day i stepped on board cf4 i met the captain i never knew was a captain who was using the mop on the floor and whistling just happy doing his work and the chief engineer was also maybe going to the toilet side and just walking everyone united with one common purpose and one common cause to save people in the mediterranean because i believe this organization believes so much that life is sacred and saving life is sacrosanct um now we move again to cf4 i mean there's been challenging with other stories uh we've had many postcards beautiful testimonies from those who have been rescued however um we do know the challenges that comes along with it uh for instance the detention and the last one being assisted days illegal detention uh, yes these challenges remain and they stare us in the face and another reason why we are glad for this new ship the cf5 and thankfully we have a great forward thinking leadership who have thought it wise to circumnavigate these challenges and with a cf5 definitely we be able to always be out there doing what we know how to do best and what we are proud of doing saving lives instead of being out there in the port spending detention and with this we have an efficient and an effective ship that would help us and further the course and so that we can live up to the words of that mantra every life count and leave no one to die i don't want to bore you uh with so much of my talks but i want to say that i am more than happy and when someone tells you that there's so much evil in the world tell them that there is a ray of hope in ci and all the wonderful search and rescue organizations thank you very much and i would at this point hand over the mic to it's a great pleasure of course to hand over the mic to to Sandra Hula, and I'm, I already told I was starstruck, and I'm still starstruck in a way. <laughs> well, first of all, it's funny that the only person here uh, who needs something to read is the actress. Uh, everybody else can speak freely and look into your faces. I am more than honored to be part of this celebration today. Um, I had no idea how many people are involved and um, that so, so many people exist to make this problem smaller. And it's not the people that should make it smaller, not the governments. So in the process of thinking about the ship baptism, I of course imagined what I would wish for the ship to be, what I would like to give you, uh, what I would like to give to a crew for its journey, and of course it occurred to me, first of all, and someone said it before, I wish this ship did not exist in the first place. I wish this ship did not need to exist. I wish the governments of Europe and the world would finally acknowledge that migration will not stop when they allow death on migration routes. It stops when they take responsibility for the suffering of the people leaving their homes, which is created by the arrogance and ignorance of the Western world and politics. Um, so I wish this ship the peacefulest of seas, the minimum of people to rescue, and I thank the crew for their unfortunately necessary work. Bless this ship and the people on it. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And I think 
all of us are incredibly grateful for you to be the to do to no god uh, the two doing uh the ceremony with us today and for having those words and uh, appreciation for this project and i think Later. you for the ship's crew you are going to do the great necessary work and we are incredibly grateful and now for the actual ceremony and michael is already preparing which is great i think it might be even better for you to see if you come around yeah, here. Come here so i would ask you to stand up okay okay let's go Woo! cf5 It's our great delight, on behalf of the crew, I would like to hand over to you a well-signed t-shirt and, and we want, this is just for our passion to just reinstate our passion to search and rescue and to get everyone past the wind and ensure that we leave no one on the Mediterranean to die. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. I think it's beautiful. Right. So thank you so much. And yeah, it worked beautiful, but now it worked as well. I think it was time now for everyone to take the perfect picture of you yeah. doing it. So thank you so much for joining. And now I think I heard some sparkling wine being opened there. So I hope you all stay a little longer with us today and to celebrate this new vessel. And thank you again.